Hello everyone, welcome to the vlog. I am in a very chaotic mind state right now. I just cut my hair. I cut my bangs myself. You can really tell I cut them myself because I haven't really taken the time to like fix them yet. So they just look like, like this. But hello, welcome to the vlog. I'm going to show you guys what I do in a weekend. Oh, also my nails are like, I don't want to talk about it, but my life has been a little crazy so far because I have so many things to do. I have a lot of YouTube stuff to do. I've never done this much like content creation all at once. So I feel like a real content creator now, which is kind of crazy, but I have a lot of stuff to do this weekend. I have a field trip this Sunday. I'm not going to say I don't want to go on it in case my professor watches my videos, which I doubt he does, but let's just say it's the most inconvenient time on earth to be having this field trip, but like you gotta do what you gotta do you know so i guess it is what it is why do i feel like i look so pale you cannot be having this i just feel like i look so pale for some reason that i guess i don't have enough blush on is that better i don't know but hello so we have a lot to do i have to do like ceramic stuff i always have to do ceramic stuff on the weekend and then i have to do a lot of video editing like an alarming amount also do you guys like my socks they are Pusheen socks that I actually got in a Pusheen box. I just filmed a TikTok on it if you guys want to go see. But isn't this so cute? Like, look at, look at him. Look at how cute this little man is. Ah, he's a floating ghost and I love him. Oh, look at him peeking. So yeah, I'm getting ready for the day because I have a lot to do. I'm thinking what I want to do first. Do I want to go to the ceramics lab first? I don't think so. I like going to the ceramics lab at night because like I like doing physical things at night because I think it's easier for me to do that than during the day. I need to go to Whole Foods. So I'm debating on just like going to Whole Foods right now. It's currently three o'clock. I don't want to walk in the cold. I think it'd be good for me to go on a walk. I haven't done that in a long time. So I think I'm gonna go to Whole Foods, get my groceries. What else do I need to do up there? Do I need to go to Staples? I don't think so. What do I need to do? I'm like blanking on what I even need to do. I mainly need to go to the ceramics lab today, to be honest, but I think I'll go to Whole Foods first figure it out from there because you know this is a these are a lot of thoughts in my brain i think i'm gonna do like errand things like things i need to do as an errand because i've been putting that off a lot so if i'm gonna get ready to go outside i might as well like accessorize right and today's video is sponsored by anna louisa so I'm extra excited actually about this because they sent me new earrings, right? They have such cute jewelry on their website and I've been following their Instagram. I don't know how they're doing this. They're putting out new jewelry like every single week or something it feels like. So much new stuff and all of it is so cute that I'm like, I need to have this. But this was one of my favorite collections from them. Is this like, do you see? These checkerboard ones are so cute. I have these ones and then I have like these, these hoop-ish ones. So they're like checkerboard with gold and like diamond looking things and they're just so pretty and they look so much prettier in person than they do in their pictures just look how cute and pretty these are oh my god i've been loving checkerboard patterns so like this is just perfect and everything and they have this one too which is like a little flat version and i think they're so cute especially together so you can definitely check these out on their website for everything linked down below for you guys as always <gasps> you Stop. I'm so happy. Oh my God. Okay, I already took that one out. And then they also sent me this pair of pearl ones. These are like little scarlet pearl earrings. Do, 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 do. Nothing lasts forever. But this is gonna take me down. So tall and handsome as hell. The other earrings I'm wearing are also Ana Luisa, of course, but I wanted to try this. I'm gonna take one of these little ones. Cause I like like matching my whole ear, right? Like obviously you wanna do your whole ear with the same style. And I wanna put this in my cartilage. This might be my new favorite cartilage earring. Anna Luisa had my old favorite cartilage earring, which was like one of these hoop earrings. But I think this beats it to be honest. So cute, oh my God. These two are literally so cute, especially when you stack them together. I love jewelry stacking. As you guys know, I have like, three or two piercings on each side for my bottom piercing. So I really like putting these ones together just cause they go so well together. They're just so cute and they complement each other so well. 
The jewelry is so sparkly too. That makes me like so happy. You guys want to check out Anna Louisa? They're doing a Black Friday sale, which is so, so exciting because their jewelry is already like honestly really worth the price. But with the sale, that's like even better, you know? So I know some of you in my comments are always like, oh, I can't wait for Anna Louisa to like do a sale. They're doing a sale, okay? Black Friday, my favorite holiday because I love shopping a little bit too much. You guys can go check it out. Everything will be in the description box for you guys. And I really, really appreciate it. But I think with these earrings, I'm ready to, go out now so i guess we're going to whole foods i like honestly don't really want to but i feel like i should so i will anna louisa be inspiring my outfit choice like look at this it matches so well it's officially cold season outside like not like catching a cold cold but like it's it's chilly and i really don't appreciate that because i don't like when it's cold so let's go we haven't gone on like a a walk outside in a while for a vlog so i honestly haven't done like anything by myself in a while i've been hanging out with friends maybe i'll also go to the mall i'm thinking about that because i can literally see the mall like outside my window where is it that's that's the mall oh, blah, blah. that's the mall right there because i got a shirt from h&m and it was too small so i kind of want to exchange it oh also wait look at this i need to show you this because i swear like it sounds like i'm lying but i'm not I swear to everyone on earth that I don't steal things and I did not steal this flannel from H&M, but I kid you not. They left the thing on it. The, 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 the thing. Ugh. So I actually have to go to H&M. So I think I'll go to the mall and I'll go to H&M. Also, I've been wearing this concealer. I don't wear concealer often, but sometimes I do and I'm wearing it right now. But I feel like this shade is too dark for me. The shade is Waffle from Kaja. And so I want to see if I can exchange this. So I need to exchange this. The shirt from H&M, I'll actually make a call to them to see if I can exchange it because I don't know because I don't have the, I don't have the tag on it and I don't, I don't have the receipt, but I bought it like two days ago. So yeah, I got this little like gray tee. Here she is. It like almost is my size, but it's a little bit too small, but I didn't bother trying it on at the store because I was like, I think it'll be fine, but it's too small. So I'll have to exchange that if I can. I'm gonna try to exchange this. I'm pretty sure Sephora lets you do that. I also just kind of want to go shopping. So maybe we'll just go like on a shopping date together, just you and me, you know? I actually really like going to the mall by myself. Should I go to the mall first or should I go to Whole Foods first? They're on the opposite sides of town. I'm gonna get dressed and ready to go. I'm also about to call H&M, so wish me luck. Why does customer service always take so long? Listen, I love and respect our customer service workers. I know it's hard. But why is this so complicated? So because I don't have a receipt, they're gonna email me a receipt, but that's gonna take a few days. So uh, I guess we're just going to Whole Foods today. We'll go to the mall tomorrow or whenever they decide to email me the receipt. But I had everything ready to go. So that kind of sucks. We're gonna go to Whole Foods. Ooh. These clothes are irrelevant because I can't do anything with them. I have my bag. This is my strawberry bag. I got it in New York and I think it's really cute. Sorry about my thumb, but I'm gonna walk to Whole Foods. Just take a little walk, you know? Yeah, that's uh, the plans for now, I guess. I was about to head downtown and I realized why not get a peppermint mocha so I can stay warm, you know? I need it. <laughs> it's important to me. <laughs> I got it. That Starbucks just took me like 10 minutes. There were so many, not even 10, probably like 20 minutes. There were so many people. Got my peppermint mocha. It's in the, it's in the Christmas cups. I'm getting so excited for Christmas. It's literally November right now, but I'm just simply excited. But the weather's really nice out, probably nicer than I feel because of this peppermint mocha. But walking currently to locations, I have to stop by the post office really quick, which is like a 15 minute walk. So we're going there right now. I just have to ship out like one or two packages, so we're doing that. But it's really nice out. And look at the view, it's so pretty. Feeling kind of chaotic today, kind of unhinged. Like what if I just get all my work done? What if I'm just in a silly goofy mood to get all of my schoolwork done? Wouldn't that be crazy? Tea. <laughs> Alrighty, everything is shipped. Everything is done. So now we're gonna go to Whole Foods. I do be crossing the street right now, but exciting. Currently listening to In My Mind while walking down the street, holding a warm drink. And it is just such a vibe, honestly. I feel like when I was younger, I didn't really like winter. And now the older I get, I'm just like, this is so cozy. Even though I'm like walking outside, like winter is arguably better at home because I don't have to walk in the cold all the time. I can just drive, but it's nice here too today. That's the path that I usually skate down, but instead I'm walking today. So we're just walking on the sidewalk. 
I would have considered skating more, but I just didn't want to like have to carry it. Even though I have a penny board and it's like so small and I can strap it on the back of my bag. I just didn't feel like doing it today. So instead we're walking. Goodbye. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the sidewalk is like slanted towards that way. So I'm just walking crooked. Hello. I've been walking for like 30 minutes. Not complaining, because honestly it was really, really nice. But I've been walking and now I'm finally here at Whole Foods. So we're about to get our groceries. All the way over there. Whole Foods is super crowded today, so I'm not vlogging, but I'm gonna wait for a RISD ride to go back because I don't wanna walk back. I have all my groceries. Success! I finished shopping right when the RISD ride started, so hopefully it's not too busy right now and it'll just come immediately. Sometimes the RISD rides take quite a while, which really, really sucks, so we'll, we'll have to see. Alrighty, so I just made it back. I got recognized in the RISD ride, which is always fun. If you guys ever see me, feel free to come say hi. As soon as I got in, the driver was like, 15 must for Tiffany, because that's where I live. And then the girls in the car were like, are you Tiffany Wang? And I was like, oh my God, yes. Ugh. And it was just really, really cute. So I was like, oh my God, hello. So that's always fun. So if you guys ever see me on campus, feel free to say hello or not in campus. When I was in Philadelphia, some girl recognized me at the mall and I was like, hello. Yeah, always love meeting you guys, but I'm going to do some editing and do some work real quick. So I'm gonna go do that, I guess. I have quite a few things to do. So I also need to start a project, which I don't, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but I think it's gonna be Magic Mouse themed. If you guys remember, I made this guy in one of my past videos. I will link it for you, but it is about Flower Cat, as you can see, Flower Cat. And then it has, it's like a comic book about Flower Cat. And I made a video all about that. If you wanna see the rest of the comics, they're all over there in that video. I wanna do something similar with Magic Mouse, which is Flower Cat's little bestie. And I never really talk about him. So the assignment is to make a flutter book, which I thought my professor was saying clutter book the entire time. So that was quite confusing. But I think I'm gonna use like a giant sheet of paper. Or it really doesn't have to be big, but like I don't wanna keep buying new material. So I'm trying to use up what I have. And so I have like a, a lot of Bristol sheets left. And this is like my favorite paper. Bristol Vellum by Strathmore. I've been using this since I was like five. <laughs> so I'm very loyal to this specific brand, but I'm gonna use one of these giant sheets. I don't know how it's gonna go because I know folding is like really complicated sometimes, but hopefully I can make it. So I'm gonna get started on this project and do some editing tonight, see how it goes. And then I, I need to go to the ceramic studio later too, like I said, so I'll be going there later tonight, yeah. I would also like to add, I've been eating Airhead Bites. They're so good. And I got the elusive white one. I've heard that the mystery Airheads are literally just like whatever flavor they have left over that they didn't color. They just like turn into the white mystery one, but it is still forever my favorite flavor just cause it's so special. So I wanna share that sacred moment with you. <laughs> and so here's some footage of me working on the Magic Mouse book. I kind of realized that there isn't actually enough space in this video to show you guys the entire process. So I'm gonna move it to the next video that's gonna be uploaded next week so please be patient that will be up soon and i will see you guys there for that part of the video but yeah did a lot of work and i made a magic mouse book it has been a good amount of hours i'm sorry if you hear my laptop in the background it came out pretty cute right i think it came out pretty good so it's cut out from one page i want to show you but it's so difficult yeah it's all one page and then there's the back too but i think my favorite part is just like the Ooh. It folds together really nicely. I scored it a bunch. It's not the neatest. Like this side is pretty neat, but this side is this side needs braces. But that's okay. And he has his little body. This was like an afterthought. I was not planning this. It's because towards the end, if you guys have ever folded paper before, like it's actually really hard to get it neat when it's you're using thick paper and you're scoring it. So by the end it was getting wonky. So I just like decided to cut out his little body. So this is the front, it's his butt. Evil Mr. Cheese versus Magic Mouse. And it's very, very cute. Lots of comics about Mr. Magic Mouse. 
Mouse in here. He's a very interesting character. And also Evil Mr. Cheese. Of course, you have to specify he's evil or everyone will forget within two seconds of reading it. So every time he's mentioned, he is named Evil Mr. Cheese, not just normal Mr. Cheese. I love this. Like this is such an afterthought, but I just think it's like so cute. But I'm currently getting ready to do my calculations for my labs for ceramics because my professor today like mentioned something about our last firing and it's really stressing me out and I don't really know what that means so I'm going to try to get like not all of it but most of it done today because I don't see why not so I'm going to the RISD website I've been drinking a lot of water I think I'm like really dehydrated so I'm trying to rehydrate myself with my cute boba cup yeah just doing a lot of work today um things I had to get done like going to Whole Foods and then doing things that like I need to get done like schoolwork so overall like honestly this is my version of self-care is like <laughs> doing my homework and just going to Whole Foods and like taking the time to do that because you know it's really easy to just like throw yourself into work and not care about anything else but i'm gonna try to get all my labs figured out go there do them as quickly as possible come back also new animal crossing update came out like a few days ago for me because it's currently november 5th came out like the fourth actually came out like the third at night they like lied to us i've been playing that and it's been really really fun but i haven't had a chance to really get into it and i probably won't for a few days but like that's okay because i really want to get all my work done right now so I'm going to try to figure out all the labs today. So my original plan was to get all of my labs done, but after spending like an hour or two trying to figure out everything that was left in the semester, I realized I wouldn't have time to do it today. So I just went out and got boba with my friends and decided I'm gonna do all of this tomorrow once I figure out all the math. <sighs> Editing is a big struggle right now because it's just not working. I got some boba. I'm trying my best to edit right now, so. I guess I'll just spend all day at the ceramics lab tomorrow, but I kind of realized tonight when I was doing my calculations for my glaze and my clay lab that I think I'm gonna all try knock out tomorrow because these are like my, my two glaze labs. I'm making, let me see, 18, how many was in the other one? I think like 30 times two, so like 100 tiles. And my laptop finished cleaning. I think I'm gonna try to do all of them at once just so I don't have to go back to the glaze lab because I feel like that makes the most sense. It doesn't actually take that long. And it is 100 tiles, but I feel like I'm there for like three hours. I can get all of them done, or well, I'm hoping. So we'll see. But yeah, that's all for tonight. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Goodbye. Good morning, everyone. Hello, I just cut my bangs again this morning because I don't know, something about like winter always makes me want to have bangs. And also, sorry, my camera's like freaking out. Um, And also I just like, I don't know, I didn't, I just wanted it. I got my blue hoodie back from home and I'm so excited. This is my favorite hoodie to wear. Oh my God. You know, I never wear hats, but this goes so well together. This could be a whole look, you know, but it won't be. Um, well, actually, maybe if I wear- Oh, I like this so much better. <gasps> this is the look for today. I gotta keep the hat on now because it's so cute. But I'm going to go to the ceramics room. I need to eat first. I'm gonna make breakfast. But I figured out like my calculations. So I have so much to do. Also, I spent the morning editing, which is what that sound is in the background because it's Saturday. And normally I like to have my videos up before Saturday, but I didn't get this one up in time because it just like wasn't working with me. Uh, my laptop almost like exploded last night, like straight up because it was, I have like two terabytes storage on my laptop and I used up all of it on like one video because I have like a couple different videos going on right now and I had all the proxy footage done but I couldn't export them because I wasn't finished editing them and they weren't even supposed to go up yet so like I didn't have space to edit my new video. It was really complicated but basically I ran out of storage so I had to like spend the night trying to clear off things even though I have nothing on my laptop already. I have to make this many clays, not clays. Oh my God, imagine if this was clays, that'd be horrible. No, I have to make this many glazes. I also do have to make clays. I'm considering just finishing up my entire semester's worth of work today in the ceramics lab because honestly, I don't really see why not. I feel like that would be like a very good idea. Also, last night I didn't show you guys, but this is how the Magic Mouse book came out. And I think it came out really, really cute. I wasn't expecting it to go this well, but it did. So here it is. And oh my gosh, I'm really scared it's gonna rip at some point, but I made it out of vellum paper. So I feel like it'll be good. I'm going to make some breakfast right now so we can go to ceramics lab because I need to make, here's what's due, right? So I need to make clay because it's due next week, like this upcoming week, like it is my assignment. But I also could just mix up all these glazes. And here's the thing, okay? 
My professor made it really complicated. I think I figured out the system. He wants us to make all of these different glazes and then combine them to make like, like combine these two to make this one and combine like these two to make this one and combine these to make this one. But the base is all the same. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a huge batch of the base clay or glaze, the base glaze. I'm just gonna add each colorant to each of them. So like technically I'm doing more work because he wanted us to mix all the colorant and then mix them. This makes sense to me. I'm sorry if it doesn't make sense to you. Basically, I'm gonna do it a different way that I think is less complicated. It is technically more complicated, but I think in the grand scheme of things, it is less complicated. So yes, um, that is what we're doing. I'm gonna make breakfast first so I can eat. And I really like this hat. Oh my God, I've had this hat for like years. Great Smoky Mountains. I got this at like Goodwill four years ago, probably. I didn't realize it was just like the cutest hat on earth. Um, still have to figure out how to situate bangs because it's been a, a long time since I've had them, but we're gonna figure it out. But let's go make some food. Alrighty, so time to make some breakfast slash lunch, brunch maybe? I don't know. I have no more cooking oil. This is extremely embarrassing. There's one drop, but I have not been eating the healthiest lately. So I've been trying to make more of an effort to make my meals more well-rounded and stuff. And usually that just involves me cooking at home so I can just eat like the blandest, plainest things that make me happy. So today I'm making some eggs and I'm just scrambling them. And I'm also going to add some chicken that I just have in the fridge. So I have some protein and that's going to be my lunch got my food um i just have eggs and i put some chicken with it just so i have like some protein to get me through the day i need to start eating healthy again so that is what i'm doing that's why i went to whole foods yesterday and got broccoli because i've been eating horribly but yeah very excited i love eggs i'm going um eat and then get ready to go <laughs> Currently trying to fill out this form. Don't have an online portfolio right now, so I'm gonna go to my Google Drive. Currently trying to get something done for my senior class that's coming up because next semester is senior portfolio. This is Pongo, and I love Pongo. Um, but he likes to do work with me, so I'm like, I'm just gonna finish this up before I go because it's due on Monday and it is only Saturday, but like, I might as well just finish it. Mm, dumb conversations. Believe I told you lately. Download this onto my own computer. Mm. My computer is very slow as well right now. I guess I'll just download it. Go, Pongo! I spelled portfolio wrong. Portfolio. Hello, edit please. My computer is so slow right now. All right, just finished. So I guess now I'm going to head over to Ceramics Lab, but I won't be wearing this because first of all, I'll get way too hot. And second of all, I'm gonna get it dirty and I don't wanna do that. So I have to put on some clothes I don't care about now. Woo. So we're back in the Ceramics Lab, which I honestly missed because I haven't been here in a day or two. But like I said, I'm gonna try to finish off the semester today, get all my work done in advance. And so the assignment due this week is these clay tests, but instead of making little sculptures, I'm gonna be making these pucks that he wanted us to specifically use a mason jar lid for, which I thought was an interesting choice, but I've learned something. I don't add all the water and make it a slip anymore because it's simply just impossible to try to get the plaster to get all that water out because it just takes way too long. So I just add a little bit of water and then I knead them like this and then I'm going to roll them out in between these slab rollers. And like I said, we're not making little sculptures, we're just making these discs. So I'm just gonna roll them out as a slab. And this way I can ensure the thickness is the same. And now I'm using the mason jar lid, which isn't even mine, it was my friend's and I had to borrow it because I don't own any of these, but I cut it out and he wanted us to actually just leave it like this, but that unfortunately makes it ugly. So I'm gonna fix that later. But here are all the tiles I'm gonna do today. I did like 36, I think. So I'm gonna start by making this huge batch of base glaze, which is a lot of powder. And then I'm gonna add a lot of water to it. And this is actually like one of the easier glaze tests we did because technically I'm only adding different colorants to each of the glaze tiles. So that made it really easy, but I wanted to make sure to pulverize this stuff and make sure it was all blended. And then I poured it into a pitcher, which was a very smart move by me. And I'm just adding a bunch of different colorants. I didn't film all of them, but I thought I'd show you guys the most interesting ones. This one came out pink and reminds me of blueberry yogurt, which I tried really hard not to eat. Um, it's a little bit tempting when you're in the studio for hours, but here it is. It comes out like a really light pink. I don't know what color this is gonna like fire as because glaze never fires as the color. 
it's supposed to, which as you guys know, because all my tiles come out green and then when I fire them, they come out pink. Here's a green one. I was really excited to use all these different colorants because like I don't normally get to use them. Here's like a really dark red one. I, I don't know what's gonna happen to this one either. I was really excited to use all of them. It's like when you start doing like a new craft and then you unlock a new section of Michael's craft store and you get to buy all those materials. It's kind of like that. Like I finally got to use all these different colorants I didn't really have a use for before. And so this was a fun lab. This one's black and was very like edgy and emo. And then we had to use these stains that my TA brought for me. And I decided to use the light blue one because I thought that was the cutest one. Will it fire out light blue? Who knows? But maybe, uh, <laughs> so I'm gonna try it. And so I just took like the amount that we're supposed to for the measurements and I put it in there and here's everything being super messy, but I'm pretty much finishing up the glaze tests. And so now I'm just wiping down the edges, which took me so long. Remember how in one of my past vlogs, I was like, this is my favorite part of doing this project because it's so satisfying and fun. You know, after about your like 16th one, you get kind of tired and you realize there's 20 left and it's just like, damn, this is not as fun as I thought it was, but it's still pretty satisfying and I try to savor it while I still could because I realize this is like one of the last times I'm gonna get to do this, which kind of sucks. But yeah, here's a sped up version of me doing it. I went through 36 tiles like this and they take a while to wipe down, but now I'm gonna organize them because I dipped each tile twice. So there's like an oxidation and a reduction tile. So I have to sort all those out now, which is a lot of work to be doing. And then I'm going to take all of them and I split them into two groups, right? So I'm gonna take one of the groups. I wanted to make sure not to mix these up because they're all labeled on the back. And it's really important that I don't put the wrong labeled one where they're supposed to go. But here I am putting them all on their tile racks. And this is just where they're gonna be until they get fired. And I just leave these for like a week and then I come back a week later and they're all good. So that's always fun. And as you can see, there's a lot of them and it's surprising how many I actually got done. I was here for like five hours that day. So pretty proud that I got this much work done and all on a Saturday, you know? And I have to clean up the studio, obviously. This is actually kind of satisfying towards the end because I get to finish everything up. And now I'm going to write in the numbers or like carve in the numbers. I'm only using a pencil because the tip is like dull, but I want to put little hearts on them. And that's how I know that these tiles are mine. Are they the best drawn hearts? No, but do I care anymore? Not really. So here are my pucks and they're very interesting. So I finished all my work and I am very, very excited. So I'm doing a dance in the studio and the thing turned off at just the right time. Oh, wow. It turned off right on time. I just finished all of my work. I'm gonna go up to Thayer with my friends to get some dinner, but I just got so much done. Finished these pucks, finished the uh, glaze test for next week. Very happy. Well, I didn't want this mask, but some girl in the ceramics lab spilled stuff on my mask and then gave me this one. So I was like, okay. I know, it looks fancy. I like the shape of it. Me too. Alrighty, so now I'm back. It's so dark in here, but I just uploaded a YouTube video. Um, I'm getting some stuff done and tomorrow I have a field trip. And so I have to get ready to go there. I went to CVS to get a little wrap for tomorrow for lunch, but I have to pack like a little, a little snack, you know, for myself. I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm really not looking forward to this field trip, but it's fine. I got so much work done today though. Um, I'm like ahead one whole week for ceramics. My YouTube stuff is getting starting to make sense. I cleared off like a bunch of my laptops. So I'm gonna be importing stuff tonight and doing stuff. And so feeling good, very happy. And so I will see you guys later. So the next day I'm getting ready to go on this field trip. And this field trip is like a two hour drive there and then a two hour drive back. So I'm packing a lot of food cause I know I'll get hungry, especially early in the morning. These are the wraps that I bought yesterday and I actually end up cooking an egg and putting it in there so it's tastier. I also got my yogurt, a doyaki, blueberries, and a tangerine. Good morning, everyone. So I am getting ready to go all the way up to where I need to go for my field trip. Um, it's like 8 a.m. I'm really tired, so I didn't have the energy to put on my, my makeup, but um, 
it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I packed my lunch and I'm running a little late, so I may have to skedaddle a little bit to catch the bus, but am I looking forward to it? No, but it's fine. It do be just something I have to do. We're going all the way to Connecticut today. It's like a two hour drive. So I think we're gonna get there at like 10 or 11, um, stay there until like one, and then we're gonna come back and get here around three. I brought my iPad so I can do my homework on the bus, but I'll probably sleep on the way there and maybe on the way back. So if I sleep, that's fine. But if I get homework done, that's good too. So it's also really cold today by Lair, like a lot. You know, the forecast said it's 31 right now, but it actually feels pretty warm outside. So I'm glad I didn't go with like a much bigger jacket, which is what I was thinking about. I have like a flannel on under this and then I have <laughs> leggings on under my pants because I hate being cold. I do not want to be cold, but also if we're going on a field trip, like I don't want to carry stuff the entire time. So I brought like a little tote bag. I have my strawberry tote bag and that is all I'm bringing. I refuse to bring anything else. So we got on the bus and here I am with a croissant because my professor brought us some pastries which was really nice because it really fueled us throughout the day. And two hours later, I slept the whole time. We're at like this little gift shop for this place and they have a lot of cool things. We had to lock our bags away, so goodbye strawberry bag. But there was a lot of cool stuff to look at and this was all like good design stuff. And then here's the glass house. So someone lived here. I don't know how but it is all private property and it's like restored now to kind of stay as a historical like location but it's really interesting all four walls are glass so you can just like see right through it and there's very minimal like furniture in there so it's more like an architecture thing so as an illustration student this wasn't super on brand for me but there was a lot of cool stuff to see here's like a museum that he had on his property and another thing on his property this like we went in here and it's on the water it's really interesting and another statue you know near the property he had this wild place and so after like a couple hours we headed back and we were supposed to get back at three but i don't know if it was traffic or what because i passed out on the bus i slept the entire time there and back but when i woke up and it was like 4 30 and we still weren't there yet so we ended up getting back around five well now i'm back on campus and that's basically that's basically it the ride back took so long it's currently like five o'clock we were supposed to be back at like four but and so now i'm back and i was gonna film more of the weekend vlog but i guess this is pretty much the end of the weekend because you know it's already 5 p.m it's dark outside already and the vios on my window is actually really really pretty right now but i just don't have much else to talk to you guys about so i want to thank you guys so much for watching for hanging out the field trip was interesting glad i went so i didn't miss a class because that would have freaked me out for a long time because the attendance is like really strict yeah the glass house was cool it was made out of glass uh do i believe someone lived there not really but apparently he did and yeah it was it was cool it was fun the ride was like two hours so we were supposed to be back at three but it is now five o'clock so we got back kind of late so i was gonna have more to the weekend vlog but the weekend's basically over now i'm just gonna go and do some of my homework and i will see you guys in the next vlog so thank you guys so much for watching for hanging out and thank you so much to anna luisa again for being the sponsor of today's video go check them out for their black friday sale there are things that are like 20 percent off right now and closer to black friday it will be 60 percent off which is insane so definitely go check that out and i will see you guys in the next video so stay hydrated take a nap i will see you when i see you bye